Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install SCCM State Migration Point SMP State Migration Point. So I'm here at the um, console. So what I need to do is go into the site, right click on my primary site, click Add Site System Roles. I'll click next next state migration point click next so right here you need to give a folder where you want to store the uh, the contents of the data I'm going to put it on D I'm sorry uh, E drive because I got a lot of space on E drive. Let's see. Okay. Call it st state. I'm just going to call it data. Um, USMT data. Maximum clients 100, Ma minimum free space is 100. So it's allowed me to store data up to 100 uh, clients, and minimum free free space is 100 megabytes. That's just good enough by default. I want it to delete after one day, so I'm gonna put it. I'm going to change it to seven days. So that means the data is going to stay on the state migration point for seven days. I click next. Boundaries. I'm going to add the. I'm going to use these boundaries. If I want to add new boundaries, just click add. So in this case, it's this bound the two boundaries here. Click next. Click close. Let's see the installation status. Probably can look at the log files here. Um, C drive, program files, SCCM, logs. Look at the file. So component manager, site component manager. Hierarchy Manager. State Migration.
All right. Let me see here. State Migration Point Manager. All right, look like the uh, folder is there. Let's create it. Go back to Site Component Manager. Let's look at the status of the console. State migration point. Okay, it says successfully installed. So far, I don't see any red X state migration point. So successfully install on this site. Okay, that's it guys. So this is how you install state migration point in SCCM console. Thank you for watching and have a good day.